So this is the video from my physical sciences earthquake lab using the USGS websites for recent earthquake data. And this is the pre-recorded recent data so that all of my students can be working with the same information regardless of when they come in and do this part of the lab. So we're starting with the default view for the past day and magnitudes above 2.5 for the world view. Now it starts in here as the US view, but I can quickly change it to the world view. Doesn't change the information very much. But I'm going to go ahead and grab a screenshot of this as the first piece of information you'll need. Now the second piece of information you need is instead of looking at the magnitude limit for just 2.5 and above, we are going to be looking at the entire set of all earthquakes. So this is your next piece of data that you will need. And again, I'm going to grab a screenshot of this. The next piece of information you need is rather than the newest first, we're going to go ahead and grab the largest magnitude first. And you have information about this highest magnitude within that past day, including its magnitude and where it happened. So I will grab a screenshot of this. Now we're actually going to change our image here again. And we are going to take a look at seven days with the 4.5 plus magnitudes. We're going to go ahead and keep it on the world view. And you're going to be taking a look at how many earthquakes were listed for this particular set of data. Then we're going to change it to the earthquakes magnified magnitude 2.5 and above. And notice that we have changed the number of earthquakes that are on here. And I'll grab the screenshot. And then we are going to once again take a look at all magnitudes, but now for the seven days worldwide view. And we have a new number of earthquakes here. You'll be using these pieces of information to answer the next question in the lab about if there are more low magnitude earthquakes or more high magnitude earthquakes. We're now going to change the view once again to look at the 30 days significant worldwide earthquakes. And the significant ones is going to change the view quite a bit. And once again, we're going to take a look at how many earthquakes there was, but also the most intense. So making sure that it's still on the largest magnitude, I'll go ahead and click on this one so that then you have information on the magnitude and the location. And I will grab this as a screenshot as well. These are the videos or the video and the set of images that you'll be using to answer the questions in that part 1B, the pre-recorded recent data.